Good morning, and welcome to another episode of God's Word on the Go. I am your host, Pastor Dr. Yvonne Scott Miller. I am pastor of One Lord House of Worship in Duluth, Georgia. Thank you for tuning in. It was Saturday morning, somewhere around 6.30. God threw me out of the bed, and I knew it was time to worship. So I went to my secret place. I went to my corner. And before the worship ended, he spoke these words. Psalms 63. Psalms 63. I could not wait to get up off the floor and run to my word and read what is it that God is saying to me. And I read all of Psalms 63. But I just want to share with you Psalm 63, 1 to 3. Psalm 63, 1 to 3. It reads, O God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsts for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. I read Psalm 63 over and over again, and I knew he was trying to say something to me. But it wasn't until later that afternoon that I understood the word. What he was saying is, Yvonne, I've heard your prayers. I've heard the cries of your heart. I've heard you when you have prayed in your secret language. I've heard you saying, Lord, show me your glory. I've heard you say, Lord, I long to have you in the sanctuary with me. Lord, return me to a season where I walk into the church and I feel your glory. I feel your presence. I feel your power. Lord, show me your glory. I know what it feels like, and I miss it. You see, when I I was called by God to preach the gospel in August of 2008, one of the things I said to him is, Lord, I don't want church as usual. If if I'm going to pastor, I don't want church as usual. I, I don't want hymn, prayer, Praise and worship, sermon, offering, altar call, benediction, go home and do it all over again. Lord, I want you. I want you to show up and change lives. I want you to show up with miracles, signs, and wonders. You see, I can boldly pray that because I know what my God can do. You see, I've seen tumors disappear. I've seen dead spirits come to life. I've seen him heal my body on multiple occasions. So I know what my God can do. And I know what the power of his spirit in a house of worship can do to change a life, to change a future. So I've prayed often, Lord, if you don't come with me, don't send me. So on Saturday morning, he was saying, Yvonne, I heard your cry. I heard your petition. You want more of me. Because you said in your spirit that church without God is nothing at all. I want God. I want worship. And I want the presence of his Holy Spirit. But my brothers and sisters, while you're listening to this podcast, you can feel him. Just ask, Lord, feel me with your Holy Spirit. If you're in the car, you can say, Lord, feel this car with your Holy Spirit. If you're at work and about to begin your day or in your day, say, Lord, fill this room with your presence. 
Lord, fill this space with your glory. My God is a gracious God. He's a wonderful God. He said, just simply present your petition to me. Present it in faith, and I will answer your prayer. Today is August the 1st, 2021. Eight is a season of new beginnings. One Lord is the ministry that God has caused, has ordered me to oversee. Today I declare and I decree into the atmosphere from this day forward that this is a day of new beginnings for one Lord. God, show us your glory. And we will be mindful to give you all the glory, all the praise forevermore. In Jesus' name, be blessed and be a kingdom blessing. Hallelujah. And amen.